Welcome back. It's Zion from Yukon Demand, where we bring you fingerstyle song lessons and tabs. So we're going to cover the first half of Be Thou My Vision in this video, but you can get the rest of the song lesson over at yukondemand.com. Now, Be Thou My Vision is one of my favorite hymns, and it sounds great played on the ukulele. And you can play this with just the simple melody notes, or you can play the full arrangement with both the melody and chord melody. To begin, you're going to start with a C chord. And a C chord looks like this. You're going to have your ring finger on the third fret of the A, and you're going to have open G, C, and E. And throughout most of the song, you're just going to simply be going back and forth between two strings. And so you're going to strum the C chord, pick the C string, you're going to be leaving the chord there, so just pick A again, and then C string, so those first four notes, C chord, C string, A, C string. Next, we have a little slide. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick the third fret of the A string and immediately slide it to the fifth fret and then come back down and pick C string one more time. That's, that's the first measure of Beat Up My Vision, so played a, together a little bit faster. Moving into measure two, now we're going to go into an F chord. And an F chord looks like this. You're going to have your middle finger on the second fret of the G string, open C, or index finger on the first fret of the E string, and open A. I'm going to strum that once as well. Pick, leaving the chord there, pick the first fret of the E and ring finger to the third fret of the E. And then pick open C string. Now, a little pause right there, a little note. So for this song, what you're going to want to do is either go with a three or a four finger approach. In the video, I went, I kind of switched between both, but I'll show you a three finger approach. With a three finger approach, you're going to want your thumb to be in control of the top two strings, so G and C, and whatever notes come on those two strings will be covered with your thumb. And then the index finger gets the E string and middle finger gets that, uh, that A string. So for example, you have first fret on the E going to the third fret and that string belongs to the index finger. So you go. But the next note is on the C string, which is being covered by the thumb. So that's a simpler way, a simple way to kind of break the strings up so you can follow along the tab a little bit easier. All right, so we're halfway through measure two. So we've got. The next two notes, I'm going to pick the open A string. And the first fret of the E. going to go to another C chord, strum that once. This time we're just going to go back and forth between the G string. And G, third fret A, G, slide up to the fifth fret of the A string, pick that, G again, 
Now we're going to come into this shape. It's a C chord, and it's a different type of C chord. You're going to have your index finger on the 7th fret of the A string and middle finger on the 8th fret of the E string. You're going to strum this entire shape once. Then pick G, 8th fret of E, 7th fret A, and then back down to the 8th fret E, and G string. So that's bar 1. Played together, slowly, would sound like this. Moving into bar two, you're going to start out with a G chord, uh, but it's not going to look like your typical G chord. Now we're going to have our index finger on the uh, second fret of the D C string, middle finger on the third fret of the E, and pinky, or your finger, ring finger, whichever one you like best, on the fifth fret of the A. Now if you have shorter fingers, um, it's probably easier to use your pinky. If you have fairly long fingers, you can get away with using your ring, but I find it easiest with the pinky. And what you're going to do, you're going to strum the chord once, and then go back and forth between the G string and the A string, which is being fretted on the 5th fret. So strum once, then pick G to A, G to A, and then to G one more time, next you can leave your pinky where it's at, but bring your middle finger to the 4th fret of the E, and index finger to the 3rd fret of the E string, uh, middle finger to the 4th fret of C. And you can, you can swap out your pinky with your ring if it's a little more comfortable, but I found it a little bit easier to kind of just go into this position, leaving the pinky where it's at. So you're going to strum that once, and then back and forth between G, so G string, pinky goes up to 7th fret of A, pick G string again, Then pinky goes all the way up to the 10th fret, and G string one more time. Now we have a little hand, a little slide. This is this is actually one of my favorite parts of the song. So what you're going to do, you're going to have your index finger on the 8th fret of the E string and your pinky on the 10th fret of the A. And how this works is it goes like this. You're going to have a little slide, so you're going to pick both together, but after you've, right after you've picked it, you're going to slide your pinky to the 10th fret of the A, but leave your index finger where it's at. So after we had, it's like one finger slides, but the other finger stays stationary. So after you've done that, you're going to come back down and just pick the 10th fret as is, and then slide down, you can do a little bar chord or just a little double finger like this, um, but what you're going to do is you're going to have the 7th fret of the A string and the 5th fret of the G string. You're just going to pick those two outer strings together. Then after that, we're going to go into a G chord, but this is going to be a barred G chord. And that goes like this. You're going to bar the 7th fret with your index finger, and then either use your pinky or ring and place it on the 10th fret of the A. And this is another type of G chord. You're going to strum that once, 
And then leaving the chord there, you're going to pick the C string, then the E string, then the G string, and finally the A. So that's the entirety of bar two. And put together a little faster, that would sound like this. And that's how to play the first half of Be Thou My Vision. Head over to ugundaband.com to get the rest of the song lesson, and for all of our upcoming fingerstyle tutorials, subscribe, and we'll see you soon.